Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2017 tutorial. In this one, I want to talk about the difference between a raster layer and a smart object, or a rasterized layer versus an object that's been converted into a smart object. Guys, there are some very, very serious, uh, very big differences between the two, and I've gone ahead and sent in pictures, put up some pictures of my doggy here to show you the difference. The left side picture, no, pardon me, the right side picture, this is a raster layer, and you can tell it's a raster layer because it doesn't have that little uh, doodaddy box with the second box inside of it on the bottom there. Also, I converted it into a raster layer for this demonstration. So, um, there you go. This is the raster layer. The one below it, uh, this one is a smart object, and you can tell again by the uh, converted little box there in the bottom right there. So, let's go ahead and just do a quick demonstration of the main differences. Let's start with the smart object. The smart object here, I've got it. I'm holding down shift key to constrain proportions. I shrink it down in size. Let's shrink it down real small. I'll hit enter and then I'll, sh then I'll shoot it right back up to like full size again. Hit enter. You notice there are there is no change in the pixels. This is as good at the big size as it is at the little size. Now watch what happens with the raster or the rasterized, rasterized layer. We've got it here at the large size. I'm holding shift key down. I'm going to shrink it down nice and nice and small. I'm going to hit the enter key. And then I'm going to go ahead and shoot it right back to the main big size again. You already see a huge difference. I'll hit enter. Guys, it's night and day. Why is this? Very simple. Smart objects, they basically keep the pixels. They tell you If you save something as a smart object, Photoshop remembers the pixels. So whether it's at... 1% uh, of the size or 1,000% of the size, it will remember the pixels. Rasters, they don't. They forget the pixels. When you shrink it down and then you um, expand it, it uses an upscale engine. Uh, it's pretty good, but and they've made a lot of improvements since uh, some of the previous versions. But as you can tell, you don't have to believe me, just see it. Look at between your friggin' eyes. There it is, guys. Huge difference. Now, if you want to go ahead and change something into a smart object, Guys, it is very easy to do. You can drop anything in here. I'll just go ahead and show you how to do it. Um, let's take another picture of Kingston, my dog. I'll put it on top. Sure. There we go. All you got to do is right-click on any layer, and anything inside Photoshop can be made into a smart object, and go convert to smart object. That's it, guys. Right-click, boom, convert to smart object. That's it. I hope this little quick tutorial shows you the difference between raster and, and smart objects inside Photoshop uh, CC 2017. And yeah, remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Appreciate it.